In this video, we're going to be providing you with a little mini scheme here out of the West Coast bunch in the West Coast Offensive Playbook. Uh, I think this is a classic bunch. It's a bunch that's been really good for a long time. Uh, it's one of my favorite bunches to run just because it's kind of the, the old school way of running bunch. And it's like I would run bunch if bunch was a true standalone formation. Now, while we are going to primarily be sticking to gun bunch, there are some other really cool formations in the West Coast playbook, some really good under center stuff. But if you guys want to get my entire West Coast offensive ebook, that's going to be available in our school.com community. You can sign up for that for just $10. It's going to get you access to all of our offensive ebooks for both offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for NCAA. So if you want to get access to both of those, that's going to be linked down in the description. Now the audibles that we're going to be get, we're going to be utilizing for this scheme is going to be deep attack, mesh post, verticals, and corner strike, and we are going to be coming out in the play stick. So as a general rule of thumb for this offense, we're going to be running this with our bunch to the wide side of the field. And the West Coast bunch is really unique in the fact that it has this play stick. This is the only bunch in the entire game that has a short corner on that outside bunch receiver, which allows you to really do a lot of really unique things uh, with your offense. So the setup for the first, uh, the first setup for this play, we're going to make it kind of a quick hike play, and we're just going to streak our slot receiver. It doesn't require any abilities. It doesn't require any hot route master. Just simply streak your slot receiver. That's all you're going to have to do. And essentially, you're going to have a nice little high-low read over here on the right side. What's really unique about this West Coast bunch is this short corner from Stick is one of the best. I think it might be the best short corner in the game because it doesn't only beat man or a zone well, but it also beats man well. As you can see in a cover four coverage with curl flats, this uh, short corner is going to run kind of a unique sharp cutting short corner that is going to do a really good job of getting over the top of any kind of curl flat. But simultaneously, let's say they are baseline and pressing out of a cover four coverage, then what you're going to notice here with this setup is this outside quarter is really never going to play this, and you can actually throw this to the sideline really easily against this coverage. Now, let's say, for example, one of the best ways to defend the play stick is by utilizing a cover two coverage. But the problem with the cover two coverage is what you're going to see here is that this tight end corner route is going to, or this tight end flat route is going to get open against a standard cloud flat coverage. Let me give you a, a better example of that. I forgot that the default cover two in dollar has soft squats. So this is if they are using cloud flats, they're going to need to use the cloud flat to stop the short corner. So as you see, he kind of stops that short corner, but then I can just check it down to my tight end and get some easy yardage. Now, the cool part about that is in our audibles, we have the play corner strike, and we're going to use the same exact setup where we're just going to streak the slot receiver. And what you're going to see that this is going to do is if they are running a lot of cover two, it looks almost identical to corner strike or to, to uh, stick. But now you can see that this deep corner is going to get over the top. And again, you don't need any hot route abilities uh, to be able to make these, these setups happen. Now, if you're playing regs, it's a little bit more of a reg setup, but it's really good for CFM too. It can be good for Mutt, but because there's so many KOs, kind of just keep that in mind here. But if what can happen is against cover two coverage, this slot receiver on the streak, Basically, if you throw this with an inside pass lead, as you can see, that C route on the left side is going to pull that deep half, and then that's going to be open for a touchdown. So that's one of the many ways in which we can attack kind of that cover two coverage. Now, uh, the next thing that I want to show you about this corner strike set up here on the left side is if we were to take the running back and put him on a wheel route, what, the cool part about this corner strike setup is we're going to be able to use that running back wheel route as a pull route. So what you're going to see is when he cuts up field, he's going to kind of pull that zone, and then you can kind of throw that C route. Now, another way to kind of get to the same basic thing here uh, would be to take the running back and put him on a streak. When you're running your bunch like what we're showing you here, you might want to use the running back streak. It'll be a little bit easier. And because that C route is more delayed, you can throw it that way on the sideline as well. One of the best setups that I like to do is actually turn this into a five wide look and then go ahead and use the running back streak on a motion out. Of course, if you want to, you can kind of change the routes underneath. For example, just a simple drag, but I like to do the double streaks here. I think it's a, a really nice way to be able to attack zone. As you can see, a cover three or cover four, really not going to be able to cover that left side of the screen. So what you're going to kind of force your opponent into doing is basically into a double flat or double Mabel coverage in which they have to be kind of cautious as far as how they're going to defend the middle of the field. This is where I like to every now and then just come out in the play wide receiver post. 
Now, the reason we're going to be coming out in this play wide receiver post is because we're going to be utilizing that isolated post route. So a lot of people really don't expect this from Bunch, and this is, I think, one of the many reasons why the West Coast Bunch is as good as, as, good as it is. So what you're going to see is against a cover two coverage, if I just come out and quick hike this, a lot of times this post route is going to be able to beat that left side deep half. But as you see on the right side, if we don't have any kind of pull route, then that, that route's not going to do a really good job of being able to attack the deep half off the right side of the screen. So what I like to do here is pretty much instantly I'm going to wheel my running back. Now I'm going to block my tight end, which is going to give me some additional protection uh, and then on the left, on the on the right hand side here, you could do a lot of different things as far as the setup goes. Really, all you need to do is just have something going to the right sideline. So even if it's a smart routed out route, typically that will get the job done. It's just going to pull that deep half sideways, and it's going to open up the middle of the field. So if you don't have hot route master, you can still kind of get to this. But it's really uh, ideal if you do have like a slot apprentice. Now, if I only had one route chemistry or one ability to be able to get one route ability on the field, I would put a slot apprentice in the slot receiver position, which is where the R1 receiver is. And what I would do with this play is I would just put a corner route there to the right side, and then you can kind of choose however you wanted this little backside crosser. Um, this backside crosser is perfectly fine if you wanted to do it like that. Uh, if you wanted to, you could run this backside crosser and almost run it almost like a high-low. But the corner route really is the key because, as you see, it pulls that deep half, and then this is going to be wide open over the middle. So it's a really simple setup to be able to attack a lot of different defenses, which is what makes it super good against, against Bunch. Now, let's say another way to kind of get to the same thing would be to motion the running back over and put the running back on a wheel route. If you were to do that, this wheel route will also pull the deep half. And then what you can see here is as you step up in the pocket, that deep post will kind of will, um, will, will manipulate that, that uh, defense. So it kind of just depends on how you want to get to the, how you want to get to it, whether it's with a slot receiver. Again, if you do not have slot apprentice, typically, I mean, even sometimes something as simple as a flat route to the right can actually pull and manipulate that deep half. So we'll try that here just for fun. So you see here, and this time the deep half kind of stayed deep in the middle of the field. So as we kind of start to get them to, you know, change their defenses and have to go to zone and, and, and all of these things, the cool part that's going to begin to happen is they're going to start to do a couple of different things, and they all kind of arrive at the same conclusion. So one of the things that they might do is they might use inside quarters to uh, be able to defend this out of a cover two double Mabel. So what that would look like is it would look something like this. So as you can see, we're utilizing these inside quarters. And again, this is it's kind of a, a specific adjustment. But what oftentimes happens, and I'm just going to create this with Hot Route Master. But let's say we were to recreate kind of the same basic thing here. What you're going to notice is this inside quarter on the right side. He can actually do a pretty good job, as you see, of being able to, to defend that. So this is where I like to go to a couple of secondary setups that I like to call kind of con more constraint-based plays. So if we ever notice that they are doing kind of that inside quarter technique, what I like to do first and foremost is I like to call verticals. And all we're going to do here, it, we're kind of unique to this, this bunch, we're just going to take the running back and put him on either an in route or a streak. That's really simple to do and pretty much – What's going to happen is that inside quarter will stay inside on the tight end, and then you can throw this up and over the top for a big play. And again, the, all, none of these really require slot apprentice. Now, the one thing you can do that's really underrated in this formation is let's say they're doing that adjustment and you know they kind of have that inside quarter, right? This is where I did want to showcase that you can get to double corner from this. If you have slot apprentice or hot route master, that slot apprentice being in the slot of the gun bunch. So you're going to see we're going to put him on a slot apprentice corner. We're going to streak our tight end and we're going to drag our backside receiver. The cool part about this is this is, in my opinion, the best double corner in the entire game. As you can see, that short, that deeper corner route will clear a 30 if you run this with your bunch to the wide side of the field. OK, super, super important uh, in terms of how we're going to how we're going to set all this up. Now, I'd be crazy if I didn't show you a couple of other of my favorite setups. One of them is to kind of manipulate 
that uh, double flat, double quarter defense here on the right side. It's going to be in the mesh post play. Mesh post has been one of the best plays in this formation for a long time. And what we're going to basically do here is we're just going to streak our slot receiver and then we're going to block our running back. That's pretty much the setup. And what you're going to see is that streak will influence both of those quarter zones. And you can throw this post over the top of a 30-yard cloud, which kind of funnels them back into utilizing deep halves or going to man coverage, which this play is going to this mesh mesh post play is going to do a really good job of manipulating man coverage. So again, with mesh post, all we're going to do is streak the slot receiver. And then if you want, you can block your running back for additional protection. And what you'll see here is this post route. He got a little bump there, so he didn't run exactly how we would I it would be ideal. But in general, if you're trying to if you're trying to run this play against man-to-man -man coverage, then typically what will happen is this post route will break open over the middle of the field. And then you'll also have this drag. So you essentially are high lowing the user in the middle of the field. And the other cool part about this is this is kind of a similar post. It kind of ends up like that. And you also have to play deep corner in your audibles as well or, or in your in your playbook. But the cool part about this is it can really manipulate a lot of coverage. Like, for example, cover three here. Sometimes this pose actually can hit in the seam like that. And you can kind of manipulate the cover three coverage that way as well. Now, uh, another route combo that is really effective for man to man is this route combination out of deep attack. So the setup for this is we're going to streak the tight end, or I'm sorry, streak the slot receiver. We're going to drag our tight end, and then we're going to take our outside bunch receiver, and we're going to put him on a drag, and we're going to motion snap him outside a step. And what you're going to see is we're going to have a nice little kind of just way to attack the middle of the field really well. This is going to do a really good job of beating double Mabel. This is going to be a do. This can also do a really good job of beating man to man. It's also going to do a lot of pretty nice at, in general, just beating the drop eight coverage. If they are drop dropping eight into coverage, this is a really good setup for that. And I was talking about the man to man aspect here. As you see, this post it can actually just destroy man over the middle, and it doesn't really matter route running any of that. Regs obviously has the the most difficult time in route running. Another thing you can do with deep attack is you can utilize your running back as a streak. And the purpose of that running back, or I'm sorry, a wheel route with a tight end drag. And then you can kind of run the play art, kind of play like this, essentially. What will happen with this is this running back is really good if they are playing you in man coverage on that solo side because you can't really guard that wheel route in man coverage. So now you have to put a third over there. And then if you do put a third over there, I did want to cover this real quick with you guys. If you put an outside third over there on the left-hand side to kind of slow this down, while that does slow this setup down, what I find happens a lot of the time whenever I run deep attack is you can actually throw this post kind of in the in the, in a really nice pocket right here against that cover three coverage before he gets to the middle of the field. I want to thank you for watching this breakdown. If you guys want to get my entire West Coast offensive ebook, make sure that you join our school.com community. It's the best place to get better at Madden and NCAA for the same price. You get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both games for just $10. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.